Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're just doing a bit of maintenance for all the stuff we just got out of the new dungeon, and we'll get back on the MSQ. Oh, Heidelin needs a hug. Heidelin so needs a hug. That is a good choice, Foxfire. Uh, I wish I could hug my mom right now, but um, she's kind of <laughs> cloistering up in gold country at the moment because my brother's gotten sick, so there's been no one around to keep her company right now, and it's, like, breaking my heart. Yeah. But Dave is very wisely cloistering himself. So he doesn't want to get mom sick because mom is not a spring Don't chicken. Go too far. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. Oh yay! Just what I always wanted. More useless stones that I seem to have a huge pile of and no use for them. Yeah, well, that's what retainers are for. I am not your retainer. You sure about this? C. Okay, time to go give a heck of a report to Kryl. Yeah, they're not gonna like this. I'm not going to like this. I already don't like it. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, I have old Sherlyn on favored destination, so it doesn't hit as hard. Oh. I have no idea how long I've been gone in real time, because... <laughs> Time is a fuzzy concept at the moment. <laughs> oh, um, lovely. It took us, what, about three nights to get through this? Stoic face, sister. Stoic face. <laughs> uh huh. I'm gonna start blubbering again, aren't I? <laughs> I'm fine. Up until the point they start playing answers again. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> when needed, and this is no exception. Oh no. What's going on while I was gone? Mm -hmm. They for Leah. Impeccable timing as always. I heard you were off in the first as part of our efforts to investigate the final days. Well, as so often seems the case, while you were away, we've had some few developments. Oh lordy howdy. <laughs> Which we can all discuss in just a moment. For now, however, I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have you back. 
Um, do you guys have some, like, tea and some sweets? I think I could really go for some tea and some sweets. Carrying our song. Whoa. Really? I had not looked at the achievements lately. <laughs> oh, you hadn't seen the new uh, achievement list? No. Yeah, they completely redone the interface. It's more responsive. Uh, it's easier to do searches. Um, it's, it's just it, the, the fact that it looks completely different. Yeah, th this is uh, one of the things that they were actually snuck in as a highlight in the press tour that only one person caught, and that person just kind of exploded all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and we get a title, Ephedoros. Yeah, oh. Epiphoros. Yeah. Hey, action! Oh god, Heidelin needs a hug. <laughs> As the heavens burn. Though you and Kryle both have news to share, hers is perhaps the more urgent. That that's a scary thought. Yeah, considering um yeah, uh, we know what caused the final days and how to get we just don't know how to get there. <laughs> so, have you learned aught more of the final days? Oh, Lord, howdy. <laughs> then the journey was well worth the risk. No doubt your newfound knowledge will be a great boon to us all. <laughs> Unfortunately, during our time on the first, events here have taken a turn for the worst. The Scions are running themselves ragged trying to contain the spread of blasphemies, but it's a losing battle. To try and ascertain the where and why of it, Alphano and Alice have been traveling all over. Of all the regions they visited, Locus of Menos is one of the worst affected. Thancred, Einstein, and Graha took a Um. Mm -hmm? You want to try that name again? <laughs> Einstein, we're booty! <laughs> Here. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you. I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> oh, come on. I can go anywhere. I've got the American Express card. <laughs> Sorry, I need this laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you think? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> they created Istinian and Graha took a detachment of allied soldiers there to offer aid and succor to those in need. But the province is vast. They only managed to visit a handful of coastal villages, and it was an accomplishment worth celebrating still, but a drop in the bucket at best. In the meantime, Yushtola and Master Matoya have been making a concerted effort to establish contact with Heidelin in the Etheric Sea, but to no avail. As for Totaro and I, we've been keeping close eye on the forum. From what we gather, they've been constructing a vessel to ferry people to the moon, an ambitious project that has been like that has likely been years, if not decades, in the making. However, since we've seen no sign of it thus far, I suspect they're still incomplete. You will also recall that the proposal issued by Master Fochina to the people of Razadhan. Following the discussion, Vitra declared his support for the plan and urged those who wish to evacuate to accompany the forum's invitation. Er, to accept the forum's invitation. 
So far, so good. But that's where things get a little strange. Apparently, the forum caught wind of the lunar teleporter on the Tower of Babel and decided to use it to deliver people to the moon instead of their mysterious ship. Fair enough. Therefore, to secure safe passage for the Hanish refugees to the tower, Alphano, Alice, Estinian, and Graha traveled to Garlemal not too long ago. Trouble is, the capital was hardly the safest place to begin with, and now... And now... The final days have come to Garlemald. Of course. <sighs> Shortly after our friend's arrival, they were set to rendezvous with Master Fochinaw. Then, the panic broke out, and our communications were severed. From what fragments we were able to make out before the link shell went completely silent, we can only assume the phenomenon has spread to the capital. The others need you, Theron, Rylia. Please, you must help them. We are on it. You could use something to, to stab right about now. Yeah, I, I think stabbing things would be a good uh, uh, option. Therapeutic stabbing. <laughs> every warrior of light needs to uh, do some therapeutic stabbing every now and then. It, it helps lighten the heart, really. Having you there will make all the difference. I'm sure of it. Camp Broken Glass was their first port of call, so you'd best start there. Hopefully, Lucia will know where they are. There's, there's no telling you'll, what you'll be walking into, so you'd best take every possible precaution. It pains me to send you off alone into the unknown and peril after you just return, but Twelve Willing, you won't be alone for long. I'm just glad they didn't uh, turn us loose in a room full of tension music. <clears throat> I'll be sure to let Thakrit and Yostola know you're back. At least they're still responding to their Link Pearls. Right. Off we go. No rest for the wicked. Actually, from here, it's probably best to teleport, but oh, am I going to use an Aetherite Pass for this one? <laughs> yeah. Just double checking. Okay, yeah, we're in level 88 questing. Hopefully, it won't try to jump levels on us anytime soon. And I just saw an 83. Three as we teleported out, that was a blue unlock. Something about the moon. To the moon! Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Hey, sad. Stupid emo bird. Uh. I was gonna say we were in quote unquote need of another, um, nihilistic villain just so it could be a proper Final Fantasy story of course you do realize this means that the Fandaniel we have been dealing with here on our time has been the one that actually remembers being nihilistic because he was died and reborn and yeah. then granted the memories of Fandaniel yeah. oh Lucia, reporting. Theron, Rylea, not a moment too soon. The skies over Garlemald are ablaze, but, it, but it's events on the ground that concerns me. As you will have heard, your fellow scions arrive ahead of you. 
We cut the customary greeting short after we received word from our troops that Magnus Glacius, that the Forum's airship has landed. It was then that the heavens began to burn. I dispatched your friends at once to ensure the refugees came to no harm. I would have you join them immediately. Additional support is en route, but we will discuss them later. I trust you are ready to depart? <sighs> Several cutscenes will play in sequence. Holy cow, guys. Yes! <laughs> 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 Are you ready? I guess. In addition, you will be required to participate in battle, right? Level 88 level sync. Earlier on the Magna Glacius. Oh boy. here in this blasted waste. Calm yourselves. Your panic is our greatest enemy. Come, we must build a line of defense. to us, Father. You must lead the people to safety. I can handle this pair. You? shall tend to the refugees. Let us be about it. <laughs> oh, that was pride there. <laughs> oh god, we're going and in and fighting go. as them. As Alphano, I think. Yeah. That, were, that was where the last focus was. This always screws me over. Oh god. Yep. No, that's not the...
friends. You're safe now. Go, Estinium. Worry not for the refugees, but for yourself. Oh dear. Help! Someone, please! What? Uh... It's Julius. Wait, that's Julius and the army. So, you've recovered then? In time enough to be of aid for once. We can speak of it more later. For now, we must fight to repay your salvation in kind, or with better! 
That I've no doubt. <laughs> the gods of all possible saviors, the Imperial Army. Yeah, the Imperial Army. Say it's high time sure. we threw caution to the winds. What are you playing, Graha? Uh -huh. so you spare me the heroic sacrifices. Now, let's go. Well, for crying out loud. <laughs> We're getting everyone this round, aren't we? Pretty close. Nice stuff, Graha! I missed that time with that one. Oh, ah. Did he go to the wrong uh, tower? Yes. Trying to do it again, too. Bad for mage. I'm like Graha, heal me. <laughs> yeah, well, he's better at it. 
Nothing to worry about. Oh, for crying out loud. One limit break coming up! <laughs> well, of course she uses a limit break during this. You expected anything less. Thank you for saving our lives once again. I remember you from Purusha. You helped us there too, didn't you? Ah, you're from Palaka Stand. I'm glad you're still in one piece. Oh, you will be once I see to that injury of yours. of him as it is you mustn't let our sword in the darkness fight alone how about a spear instead I did, I did mean to comment I'm just as glad we're not still 15 feet tall oh. I'm back we're back. <laughs> I'm not going into squats. No, we're back. I can look after myself, you mean? I know. <laughs> yes, yes, Miss Sundari. Everything's in order? I trust. I've had enough of this rabble. Come on. In this coming battle, you will fight us, Ver. Oh, They're in Vexta. I should hope so. 
funny, that's not what it's telling me. Uh, I am not fighting as you. Now if I can remember all my key commands. <laughs> yeah, it's been a few thousand years, hasn't it? I missed you guys. <laughs> we want to be in the center. Or at least I do. Your pattern might be different. Ah. It's... Uh, I have... Ah. One of those. You get good night's sleep. Night action. Mm. You must board without delay. The ship will depart ere long.
Your offer to host us in Charlian is most appreciated, but will the final days not soon fall upon it as well? Your hesitation is not unwarranted. The satrap entrusted me with your lives, yet I have failed your comrades. Nor are you wrong to fear that this corruption will continue to spread. I cannot promise you complete safety, even in my homeland. What I can promise is that I will do all in my power to protect you. is not inconsiderable. Even now, my countrymen are preparing the vessel that will deliver us to a sanctuary on the moon. Join us on our journey there and beyond to new horizons. Come to old Charlian, please. We would be fools to refuse such a generous offer made in earnest. It seems they've a new destination. The people of Radzat Han have known too much suffering. The march to Garlemald will only bring them more. Short though it may be. I quite agree. Fortunately, they have you to look after them. Yes. Well. Behind you! Just there! Xenos, here. You'll be all right. Hurry to the airship. Why have you come? A heretofore unseen beast. It was ripe for the slaying. Poor sport of ass. Unfit to temper my blade. We have no time for you, Xenos. You cannot still be on about a rematch. That is and has ever been my sole concern. You, on the other hand, are fixated on a different quarry. Your passion pales before mine, yet neither hate nor despair seems sufficient to recapture your misdirected bloodlust. So, I hone my blade, and I wait. That's it. That's all you care about. That's all he's ever cared about. Garlemald is in ruins. Our homeland, the nation you rule, is as good as gone. 
with so many of its people. Not just soldiers like us, not only those who fought and killed for power and duty. Innocent civilians. Murdered by their own flesh and blood. Lost and confused as they breathed their last. While we who survived with our lives and minds intact were left to freeze to death. The Aeorzeans tell me all this was your doing. You slaughtered your countrymen. You did. For what? Don't do it. For nothing in the end. So much wasted effort. Calm yourself, Jules. You bastard! No, Jules. You must control your anger. It will serve no one should it consume you and see you transformed. <laughs> Would you be happier had I a good reason? What? If my motives met with your approval, would you no longer resent the outcome? If so, then perhaps a beast's skin would suit you better. Duty, honor, morality. All constructs of convenience when put in Surely the war taught you how easily power becomes the tool of the self-righteous. How the people's justice was merely a means to their ends. Yet you would ask me why. Ask any creature of this star and those of Malthor answers. And they will tell you what suits their fancy. And they would be right to do so. What meaning there is to be found in the petty vicissitudes of your existence must be gleaned by you and you alone. Should you seek it in battle in the fruitless pursuit of my demise, then come. Assume your rightful place as a notch on my blade. You are a blight on the Galian race. There would be no more satisfying way to expunge it than by beating you to death. I will not be party to another tragedy. I refuse to lose anyone else because of you. So go. Go! And may we never suffer your madness again! you found meaning in living this way i cannot deny you found strength yet if you only pursue your hedonistic pleasures and pay no heed to the plight of others then no one will give you the time of day you will never get what you want not even the battle you pine for so dearly you'll be alone for an eternity and you'll deserve every agonizing second of it.
Well, at least we didn't you lose Eulus. Yeah. We're ready to depart. The refugee ships will be leaving shortly, but I've asked mine to remain for the time being. There's room enough for you to join me on it, if you wish. Do contain your surprise. I needn't agree with the Scion's methods or intentions to acknowledge that their deeds are deserving of gratitude. We appreciate the offer. But might I ask why you are delaying your departure? I presume it is not solely for our benefit. I must visit Garlemald ere we return to Charlion. Having caused such an uproar, it is only meet that I explain myself to the Ilzabad contingent. At some point, I have a heck of a story to tell. Allow us to accompany you, then. We should be glad to facilitate, given our familiarity with all concerned. If you would like to join as well, Eulus, we can speak of recent events on the way. Augustinian. He'll be off to your seat on the forum next. <laughs> Look at that smile! <laughs> Is someone proud of his little adopted brother? <sighs> and I will note, it is very nearly 9.30. Yes, I've been watching the time. For someone who wields a spear, Bostinian is such a blunt object. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I thought that was a fairly sharp point he made. Sharp and biting. Yeah. Okay, um, we're going to pause here and switch over to the buns. So, <laughs> uh, I will stop the stream just long enough so I can switch obs over. And uh -huh. then we'll go do the holiday. But yeah, uh, we got through a heck of a lot of story tonight, and boy, do we have a tale to tell. <laughs> Give us about five minutes and we'll be right there. <laughs>